Hey friends, tonight we are going to Oogie Boogie Bash 2023. I am so excited. I flew all the way from Florida to California to come attend one of my favorite Halloween parties. We're going to see super rare Disney villains like Judge Doom from Who Framed Roger Rabbit to Oogie Boogie himself. And then we also have the Frightfully Fun Parade, which is one of my all-time favorite parades. And like I said, I'm just so excited. So we're going to do some trick-or-treating, ride some rides, and and have a spooky oogie boogie bash anywho's let's go do this and there he is the man himself oogie boogie right on top of the disney california adventure sign the oogie boogie bash costs up to 189 dollars per ticket and it's a separate ticketed event so the park is closed off and the event takes place from 6 p.m to 11 p.m but when you buy a ticket you can get in as early as 3 p.m and uh, you get tons of candy you go to go around trick-or-treating but here the trick-or-treat locations are all villains so you're actually like trick-or-treating from villains and i love that that's so cool and uh, yeah, so hopefully we're gonna get tons of candy and see some of my favorite Disney villains Once you get inside they give you a wristband and a map and it helps you navigate around so you know what you're doing And it gives you a good idea of some of the entertainment like Villains Grove I'm so excited for Villains Grove and with the Headless Horseman rides again in the Frightfully Fun Parade And then also it'll let you know where the treat trails are and they have them marked on the map with this little cauldron and each one of these are like a little villain too so like oogie boogie is gonna have his own treat trail and it's like you're trick-or-treating from him i feel like i always look at it like that on top of the treat trails there's also like traditional character meet and greets where you're just gonna wait in a line and you get to interact with the characters and take photos and stuff like that and those are also super rare characters like this year one of the big popular ones that we're gonna head straight to is the sanderson sisters and that could take like literally two hours but it's so cool because it's daisy minnie and clarabelle all dressed up as the sanderson sisters and it's so fun to get a photo with with all three of them. The parties have started and the lines for the treat trails are actually a little bit longer. Usually in the beginning of the night, they're gonna be long, but if you wait during the parades, they're definitely very short. But here's Oogie Boogie's and it's going all the way back there. That's just in line to get an Oogie Boogie's treat trail, but there's still other ones that are probably gonna be a little bit shorter than that. And honestly, they always move so fast because you're just basically walking in and trick-or-treating. So it's always a non-stop line. One of the most popular meet and greets is probably going to be the Sanderson sisters. And right now it's about a two-hour wait. And uh, it's definitely worth it because they're very fun. So we're going to hop in line and start with that. Here they come. Oh boy, here they come. Wow, sisters! Oh, well, thank you. Fancy! Wow! Oh, come on! Oh, a muck, a muck, a muck, a muck. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you, sisters. Bye. <laughs> The Sanderson sisters were so much fun. I loved it. And they were so funny. Like, they were so good. They were interacting fantastically. And that's a great way to start out the night. Now let's go uh, hop in some treat trails, get some trick-or-treating done, and then kind of just go around and maybe ride some rides. I mean, we have a lot to do in a short time period, but like the big things is like, you know, seeing the characters and the parade. I mean. I love the, and Villains Grove, but we want to do that a little bit later on, later on in the day. I gotta get my treat bag ready. It's time to go uh, see uh, Mr. Oogie Boogie Man. Chick or treat. Well, 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 what have we here? Ah, chick or treat. Yay! Look. It's a double trick-or-treat stop. Thank you. Trick-or-treat. Where's your bag? I, I didn't get one. Where's your bag? I didn't get one. Oh. 
Oh my lord, there's so many treat stops in here. We're coming up on a third one. And this doesn't look like candy. <laughs> well, well, well. What have we here? You a gambling man? I thought so. <laughs> Look at his little ropes, too. Oh, more candy. Thank you. Ooh, I'm really scared. Ooh. <laughs> wow, what is that? A total of five treat stops in here? More? What are these? Goldfish. Goldfish? Goldfish and sun chips? Super product. Oogie Boogie was so funny. Everything he was saying to people was just cracking me up. And there were five treat stops in there. Our first one, look at that, our first treat stop. And we are pretty heavy here, including sun chips and goldfish. We're going to keep moving along and make our way over to Soren because uh, Judge Doom is over there. And I kind of really want to see him from uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the big bad guy. And then uh, also there's tons of really rare characters out here and some really cool people dressed up. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that Ursula. Beautiful. As we were walking in, I said, look at how beautiful this is and we too see later on. And now it is later on. It's getting dark out and the lights are turning on and you'll start seeing projections like on, like what they would do on Cinderella Castle, but on the cart they circle. And it's so beautiful here. Look at this, Hans is actually here too. What a villain that one is. I don't even want to meet him. Somebody that is making their uh, Oogie Boogie Bash debut is uh, Hans. Well, Prince Hans from Frozen. And honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this man. I'm not the biggest fan. Has he ever done a meet and greet, ever? I don't think ever, no. It's like, first time. First ever meet and greet. I got a couple of things I want to say to him. I got a couple things I have to say. First thing, how dare you? How dare you? And I'm second thing, more context for that. oh well, just how dare you? <laughs> but also, it feels like you're just reacting to my boldness, which not everyone's equipped for. You are charming. I'm not gonna lie. It's a very charming. It comes with the territory of being a prince. Oh, a prince. Oh, yes. oh very fancy. Yes. Nonetheless. nonetheless. Well, all right, cool. Can we finish each other's sandwiches? Sounds unsanitary. <laughs> I am so excited to just see what a Judge Doom looks like in real life. I mean, Christopher Lloyd was the best, and I was truly afraid of him when I watched that movie. I thought he was scary, especially with the eyes, and when he, like, finally revealed who he was, it was so frightening and traumatizing, and now I'm gonna... I'm gonna go say hi. This is what I was talking about. Judge Doom terrorized me when he revealed himself like this. Look at this, the Acme boxes and then the dip, poison. Wow, oh my lord, you can dip stuff in kind of. Oh, I'm gonna dip the camera in. I'm dipping you guys in. point you over to something right here to my right. This happens to be a vehicle of my own design. 5,000 gallons of heated dip pumped at enormous velocity through a pressurized water cannon. Automobile dealerships and millions of billboards stretching up to the sky. Where two town once stood will be nothing a beautiful canvas for my freeway. Yeah. 
Judge Doom was awesome. Actually, he was terrifying, and I'm just happy his eyes didn't bug out. And I wish I caught him dipping something, but it seems like he just goes on rotation. But at least I got him talking about the freeway. I mean, that was kind of cool. And now uh, we're going to keep moving along. We're getting a lot accomplished in a little bit of time. Like I said, uh, when it comes to these nights, you got to be like bang, bang, bang. So I'm sorry if it's so fast paced and all over the place, but I'm having a great time. Are those Rice Krispie treats? Yeah. Can I too? Thank you. Oh, my Lanta. Yo, thank you. They're giving out Rice Krispie treats in here. You already got one. You already got one? I asked for two. Uh, <laughs> no, what? I got you one. I got you one. I got you. Oh, you got me one? Oh, you're the best. During the first couple of trick-or-treat stops, I noticed they were kind of being a little skimpy with like the candy. It looked like they were giving out like two or three pieces. And I was like, wow, over in Walt Disney World, they give you handfuls. But the second they gave me a Rice Krispie treat, I decided that the trick-or-treating is better here. <laughs> I mean, I am that much of a sucker. I love trick-or-treats and I love whole candy bars. And I mean, this I'm already eating it. I'm already eating my trick or I'm already eating my Rice Krispie treats. It looks like Villains Grove is just about to open up and it's only a 20 minute wait. Look at that, I'm excited. You're gonna like this one. I think so too. Oh, you know what? We have to do Grizzly Peak, Sean. You never rode that I've ride. I've never ridden that either. Really? Yeah. Night, Should we do it at the end of the night? I don't know, tonight might not be the night. Here, wet my trousers. It's a little bit cold. Nobody got time to be a soggy Should bottom boy. I don't want to wet my trousers. You don't want to wet my trousers. You want to wait for it? I don't even, oh my lord, tonight might be the perfect night to actually do the Grizzly Run. Look at how beautiful this is. They've got fog pumping in there, blue and up lighting. We might maybe do this tonight. Maybe at the end though, cause you know, you really don't want to be soaked. You get soaked on this one, like end of the night soaked. The Villains Grove is like an immersive like walkthrough attraction and it's really cool because it's like a light show with all different Disney villains and it's, it's actually very spooky and for it to be only 20 minutes on opening night, I'll take that any day. Don't skip out on this, it's definitely worth it. The line might look long but it's so fun. Here we go, Redwood Creek Villains Grove. Wow. It's spooky, look at this. Villains Grove is perfect if you're looking for some really cool spooky photos. Uh, you just gotta take your time though. It seems like a lot of people are in there taking photos, but I'm sure the outcome is amazing, especially in the like you know uh, the fog parts with the lighting and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, we gotta keep moving along, and we did a lot in the front of the park, but now we need to backtrack because Ernesto de la Cruz moved. He used to be up in the front half, and now he's back over by the. Hyperion. What are these? Apple slices. Apple slices? What are these? Apples. How about them apples? 
That's like when you go trick or treating as a kid and you go to the bad house. It gives you the can the uh, the, the vegetables. You are obviously ready to be of mine. What is my favorite song of yours? Of course. That made me so much money. Remember me. Really, it's crazy. Buenas tardes, buenas noches, buenas tardes, buenas noches, señoras y señores. To be here with you tonight brings me joy and alegría. All this music is my language and the world. Do you love music? Excelente. I love music too. They would buy a remember me. Don't let it make you cry. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. Remember me. Though I have to travel far, remember me. Even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. I sing a secret song to you each night. We are apart. Remember me, though I have to travel far. Remember me each time you hear a sad guitar. Ernesto de la Cruz was so fun. It's amazing. He's up there actually talking and singing and the way he just interacts with the people walking by, I could sit there for hours to watch him, but we gotta keep moving along. And now we're gonna get to some of the more uh, signature food items. You know, of course they have Halloween treats all around the park, but they do have a select few amount of items that are only available during Oogie Boogie Bash. And one of them's here at Pimp's Test Kitchen in Avenger. Uh, Avengers Campus. Here is the food I was talking about, the Combustible Components Pizza. A colossal sized pizza slice with red pepper pesto, mozzarella, cheddar, portobello, button mushrooms, hot link, pepperoni, and Italian sausage. And it looks amazing. I am fighting the temptation to go buy one of those pretzels in Pimp's Kitchen because I love it. The pretzel here is so good, but uh, we're just gonna try the pizza slice for now. You know what I mean? Lots of candy we've gotten tonight, and uh, we still have to go and find a spot for the parade, and uh, maybe a couple more villains. Uh, you know what I mean? I love just interacting villains and seeing them just like kind of like interact with other people. Like, you know what I mean? Just be themselves. And here it is. That really is a colossal sized pizza slice. Look at that. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, it's big and it's got tons of meat on there, different types of cheese and a lot of mushrooms and then their arugula salad. And this is only available for the Oogie Boogie Bash. We cut the pizza up and everyone's gonna try a little bit of it, but I thought it was gonna be like floppy because there's so much toppings, but it's actually holding up pretty well. And everyone said it's pretty spicy. So here we go. Ooh, the sausage is good. The hot link is really good. Enough of the pizza business. There's also some villains from Marvel here. We got Loki, and then we've got Agnes uh, Hartness. Agatha Hartness, Agnes. That's so funny. I had a next door neighbor named Agnes, and she was friends with my grandma. Huh? But <laughs> Agnes Dillard, no, <laughs> Agatha Hartness. Uh, she's actually in there, and I think I'm gonna go say hi to her.
That's not right. Perfect every time. <laughs> I should enter him in a dog show in Westview, don't you think? He'd win. Blue ribbon every time. Agatha was heartless, especially with all those dog jokes. Who does she think she is? Does she know I'm a dog lover? Another awesome photo opportunity is the Kingdom Hearts one, and look at that. How awesome. The line is pretty long, though. I probably would say it's two hours. Easily two hours. But that is just so cool. And it's got a beautiful backdrop, too. And look at this. The king himself. Adam the Woo. I left my blue suede shoes at home, so I got my, my dirty Sacconis. Oh, honestly, step on step on I couldn't even, I didn't even, I thought it was the king. I really thought it was the king. Wow, impressive. This is impressive. I pulled a hamstring just then, but that's all right. I think you won the award tonight. That was beautiful. <laughs> and also, Magic Journeys is here. Look at this. I know. You got it. <laughs> Very fancy. Are you guys having a great Oogie Boogie? Oh, we're having a great time. How about you? Oh, yeah. Great, great. I love Yeah. I know. I'm excited for the parade. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to come out soon, so we got to start, like, finding a spot. To oh, yeah. Good idea. It's always fun running into some other friends when you come out and visit Disneyland. And Adam looks amazing. Look at Elvis Presley. The king is in the building. And also Magic Journeys. They are so fun. And uh, yeah, now we're going to make our way down and go see Sid from Toy Story. Oh my lord. Sid is terrifying. Alright, now we have to make our way and get ourselves a nice spot for the Headless Horseman. Uh, the frightfully fun parade starts at 10 o'clock and the Headless Horseman comes out like 10 minutes beforehand and then the uh, parade will step out. And we're going to go watch it from the Carthay Circle, which is kind of like, I would want to say it's the midway between, but it's not really, but it's at the end of the parade. So it usually hits Carthay around 10.30, uh, but I think it's just prettier up there. We've got this awesome spot right here outside of the Carthay Circle so that we can watch the Headless Horseman and the Frightfully Fun Parade. And I just love it. Look at You get to see all the lights and the coloring is good. And I think it's going to come this way. Hello, Sheriff. How are you? Very well. I see that you've got some money there. Come to collect. Oh, no money. Oh, oh yeah, someone's got to give you money. Oh, well, very good. It was nice to see you. I hope uh, you uh, cause a lot of trouble tonight. <laughs> see you, Sheriff. Oh, there goes Sheriff Nottingham. Hmm. Sheriff Nottingham is so awesome. I'm sure, I mean, some people didn't recognize who he was, but I immediately knew who he was. And it was so cool to see him. And uh, he had no money. He was looking to, he was looking to tax some people and collect. Quickly, cross the bridge. Don't look back. Do not delay. If the headless horseman gets you, you won't see another day.
Oh, look at Zero! fun I just wish it was a little bit longer you know what I mean I think they do a great job with all the floats and it's cool to see some different characters and the performers are excellent like it's so I, I, I don't know I love it I could never tell I could never say which one is better boo to you or the frightfully fun parade because I love them both another treat spot and it's Madame Mim from uh, Sword in the Stone have you had the same heat? Okay. I'm Madam Mim. Nice to meet you. Do you know my story? Yeah. Merlin, the bungler, he's blue. And a bungler. I love alliteration. The marvelous mad Madam Mim. Andrew, I feel like you need a grander title. All right, it's time to head out, but as you're leaving, you can actually get more candy. They have treats, actually, uh, little treat stops on the way out just so you can top off your bag a little bit. And look at Oogie Boogie uh, says goodbye. And with that, we are done here today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had so much fun at Oogie Boogie Bash and it's wonderful to be in California. I'm gonna be having a couple of more videos coming out uh, in the next couple of days. Uh, all around the area doing some fun stuff and of course Disneyland. Uh, oh, for Oogie Boogie Bash, I, like I said, I had so much fun. I do wanna point out that it is cheaper uh, to go to Oogie Boogie Bash than Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, uh, but I do feel like you get more offerings at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, so that's why you're paying more money. But Oogie Boogie Bash pays attention to the little details, the characters and stuff like that. And it's really nice, and the treats are way better. You know what I mean? I love the Rice Krispie treats and everything like that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.